Hello and welcome to the Center for Victory podcast of your best day yet. Here at Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. My name is Zach Del Turco. I'm an executive consultant here at Center for Victory. And today we have Eric Guy. We're going to be talking about what, what does love have to do with it? No, I'm just kidding. What's empathy have to do with it? And what we're talking about this month is leadership. We want to help you improve in your leadership in the new year. So let's start off, Eric. Let's talk about what is empathy. Okay. Well, uh, John Steinbeck said you can only understand people if you can feel them in yourself. So be able to walk in their shoes. It's not pity on somebody. Mm -hmm. It's actually understanding where somebody's at. Uh, so a sense of another person's emotions, um, you know, with the ability to kind of imagine what they might be thinking or feeling and really to put yourself in someone's shoes. You don't have to agree with them, right? And a lot of times we'll talk, especially in our trains, we'll talk about the difference between sympathy and empathy. I think uh, a poor leader, either at home or at work, you know, you can have sympathy. It's not necessarily bad to have sympathy, but it's it, sympathy is almost like you're agreeing. You're like, well, okay, yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Empathy is like, okay, let me walk beside you. Let me go through that. Let me feel what you're feeling. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I can understand. So like sympathy is seeing somebody in a ditch saying, I feel sorry for you. Where empathy is, hey, let me get you, let me get into the ditch with you and help you get out. Yeah. Is that? A, yeah, a that's, that's probably a good, a good core, uh, yeah, good correlation there. But yeah, just like, oh, what was them instead of saying, okay, let me understand where you're at and help you along that but really empower you i think it, when you're sympathetic as a leader all the time you uh, you entitle your people i think when you're more of an empathetic leader you empower your people mm. so, that's yeah. good and you know we we have an assessment it's mm -hmm. called the attribute assessment right one of the things is uh to be empathetic uh -huh. right so we joke around in the office all the time <laughs> Right. That I have one feeling. Yeah. So, can you learn to be empathetic? You can. Okay. Um, you can. It's just, you know, we did, uh, I think our last podcast or the one before, we talked about the, you know, developing a leader. Mm -hmm. right? This is a part of leadership development that you need, but one has to want to do it. I see a lot, and why I say that is I see a lot of leaders that say, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm empathetic or I have high EQ, emotional intelligence, and they really don't. They got their head up the rear end. <laughs> uh, uh, but you, the, there has to be a level of self-awareness there and a, and a desire uh, to see a different perspective. Again, don't have to agree with it, just the desire to see somebody's different perspective. And you have to be willing to hear that different perspective. Right? Again, if it might not be what I believe, uh, but you can develop that. So you don't have to necessarily agree, uh, but you know you can develop it. And I think a lot of, I guess, going back outside of the business world to a more personal thing, I see I've, and it helped a lot of kids that have had really high empathy, mm -hmm. that have gotten that knock, kind of knocked out of them. And even leaders that I've worked with have gotten that knocked out of them. But people say, well, you can't be that empathetic. So the abilities there, sometimes I think some people have, you know, are just given that gift of it, but it's not something that we necessarily treasure, especially in, in, the, in the business world or in a work environment, but it should be because, you know, typically that's correlated high levels of empathy that are used in the right direction tend to correlate with, with a great leader. Mm -hmm. And you, I believe you do have to do that. And if you, if, you know, if you didn't back then, you definitely have to now. You have to be more intelligent, not just book smart, but you have to be able to put yourself, walk in somebody's shoes and say, yeah, that, that may be what it feels like. Where are they at? Where are they coming from? Mm -hmm. Right? And be able to give them what they, they need. But it's just that uh, everybody has an innate capacity, right? But it needs to be developed. It has to be a muscle that needs to be strengthened. Some people get it more naturally. I mean, they, you know, obviously we joke in the office, <laughs> I've got all the feelings and you got one. Um, you know, that doesn't always play out well for me. Yeah. Uh, 
either, but, uh, you know, there's, there's definitely a, a capacity there, but it does need to develop. Even if you have a lot of giftedness, that doesn't mean you're going to use it or use it in the right yeah. way. Yeah. I think that's true. And for people that might not have that high empathy or they don't see people in 3d or mm -hmm. in Keller, I think, you know, speaking from my experience, that was a blind spot. I thought I was empathetic, but I was in deception. Mm -hmm. um, but after doing the assessment and sitting down, like, oh my gosh, looking back at my life and scenarios, I'm like, yeah, I need, I need to be more intentional <laughs> with my uh, EQ or my mm -hmm. emotional intelligence. And one of the things that you have to do if that doesn't come to you very easily is you have to slow down. Mm -hmm. And to your point, say, okay, what is that person feeling? Right. What is that person thinking? You know, for you, that might be something that just comes to your mind or, and you feel their pain where as me, it's just like, okay, I need to, I need to slow down here and actually put myself in their shoes. And, um, it, it has been a challenge for me, but it's that self-awareness piece of, okay, this is how I need to improve as a leader. So what are some practical steps or things that people can take to be more of that empathetic leader? I mean, the biggest, one of the biggest ones is absolutely to be able to listen and not listen to get your point across, listen to hear mm -hmm. where they come from. Again, you don't have to agree, right? I think that's where people confuse sympathy and empathy. A great empathetic leader doesn't necessarily agree, but they do listen. I'll listen to that point of view. I'll listen to the other side. Um, number two, I would say uh, explore with the heart, not the head. Mm. Right, because a lot of people, especially in business, but we do this as parents too, as leaders. We just you're all practical. I mean, think what's going on here. I mean, especially with kids, they don't, they're not all logical. They're more heart. So explore the heart, not the head, and take some time to do that. That's just not a oh, I did that kind of thing. That might be a week or two adventure. Uh, examine your own biases. I mean, sometimes we just don't have great EQ because we we don't see the world as it really is. We see it how we are. Mm -hmm. And if nobody, f and if people don't fit into that particular mold and we're not aware of that, we get dismissive. And you can't be empathetic when you do that. So examine your own biases. Uh, get feedback. Uh, but be careful who you get feedback from. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get feedback from anybody. I would say mm -hmm. if you're going to get feedback about how empathetic you are, then get it from somebody that's not, not that is knowledgeable that does this, I know we provide that, and then there's other good people around that, but get a good mentor, but just make sure they have a higher level of maturity and, and maybe even a different perspective than yours because they're going to cause you to grow. Um, you know, next, next one I would say, you know, walk in somebody else's shoes. Mm -hmm. Think about what they, um, they might be feeling or going through. I know we do that a lot. Again, with parents as they're leaving their homes, think about what your kid might be going through. Like, I would never want, like, I think probably I could speak for you too, even, but I know if I was in high school right now, like, I would probably be in a special school <laughs> and they just don't tolerate the kind of things that I did yeah. back then. Uh, but it, you know, when somebody kind of understood me and I, and I see it with kids, but I also see it and the younger people that, that I lead is when I can get into their shoes a lot. They, they just, and you're one of them. You just provide a lot more effort. And it's, it's amazing when I can do that and understand it that way instead of my own way. Mm -hmm. And then here's the, here's the biggest one. And, you know, I've heard a lot of great speakers talk on that, on this one. Ask better questions. Mm. Don't all the time ask why. Ask, how, help me understand. What is it? Like, you know, those kinds of things. Like, you know, to, to develop your empathy, don't always think you have the answer. And don't ask those just same old questions. Just ask better questions. There's a way to get to an understanding there if you ask better questions and ask them more often and to number one, listen more often. Yeah. And I think it's so true. Like, somebody said this before. Um, he said, talk to your people about anything because when you have to talk to them about something that matters they'll listen yeah and that's really being that empathetic leader is continuing to have a relationship either be your employees 
your peers or your kids, talk to them about whatever. So when you have to talk to them about something mm-hmm. important, they'll listen and they'll yeah. be more empathetic. So as we finish off, what are some bullet points? What are some action uh, items people could take to be more of that empathetic leader? I mean, just go through what we just went through there. I mean, the, the three biggest ones are probably just or three or four biggest ones is, you know, look at your heart, be able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, you know, ask better questions, and and then really just just listen. Listen with the intent to listen, not with the intent to do anything else, not to answer, not with your own bias. Just listen to listen. That's good. And I want to leave you guys with this quote from Alfred Alder. He said this, Empathy is seeing with the eyes of other." listening with the ears of another, and feeling with the heart of another. Let me repeat that, because that, that's really good. Empathy is seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another, and feeling with the heart of another. Mm-hmm. That's really good. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Please leave a, a comment in the comment section below. What stood out to you about being an empathetic leader? Also hit that notification button. We'll notify you when we have videos coming up. You can also reach out to us. You can find us at centerforvictory.com. And we want to leave you with this. We do it every single yeah. podcast. You ready? Yep. Wherever, Wherever you're, you're at, at, whatever you're doing, make this your best day yet. See ya.